Welcome to the Core Cars News Review Lab. So this is a new lab we set up. If you've seen the tour of our uh, new office, HQ, headquarters, whatever you want to call this place, uh, you'll know that this TV was not here in the review lab at that time. We've since added it, mounted it all up here, got it all set up here so I can stand in front of here and say, here are different ways to do different things. Tips, tricks, how to's, explain common issues with services, apps, etc. Um, behind the camera is still gonna be used at times to demo how things work, but other times it's best to come in front of the camera and say, hey, you you know, you go to the settings here, you go to the my feed, etc. Now this is not just for Roku, we have it set up so I can switch back and forth between Apple TV, Fire TV, Android TV. The list goes on and on. I can put Chromecast on this and um, have full support for it. So this is a really cool feature here that will allow me to demo a lot of different products. Um, two things, if you haven't seen our office tour, I'm gonna put a, um, a link at the top so you can go watch that, check it out. It's a real cool step up for us to help us develop and build out Core Cars News. Second, if you have a question, a tip, a trick you want me to walk through, um, we'll do it right here. Um, not sure what I'll, how I'll be doing this in the future. Maybe if I do a live one where I have the chat set up somewhere and you guys can ask me questions, I can demo it right here. Um, or if we're gonna be just doing, you submit a question, I create some videos. We're playing around with it. This is a bit of a beta here. Um, I like the idea of this. I like what we can do here because I get a lot of questions, concerns, and I just think this would be a great way to do it. But hey, let's dive into a quick tip and trick um, that I find that allow Roku TV users don't take full advantage of, I think will help you get more of your um, Roku TV. Uh, if you Again, if you have a suggestion on something you want us to demo, leave us a comment, we'll love to hear about it. But hey, Roku TVs, I get a lot of questions. How do I access the inputs? If I have an antenna, if I have a DVD player, et cetera, how do I access that on Roku TV? Well, it's really simple. Roku TV puts different icons here. You can see I got an HDMI one and then my antenna set up right here to easily connect and set up um, my Roku to different things. But two things, hey, what's the HDMI one? Is that my DVD player? Is that my uh, Xbox, PlayStation, et cetera? The cool thing about Roku, what they let you do, is A, it will auto detect that you have plugged something in there and put it on your screen here. So if you plug something into your Roku, it will say, oh, something's in Roku HDMI one. Let me um, pop that on the home screen. But then you can go in here and hit the start key when you're selecting it and then select rename. You can tell what it is. This is a Blu-ray player, a DVD player. The list goes on and on. You can get very specific AV receiver and all kinds of pre-created different names on there. But you can also select a custom name for your um, HDMI input, your coaxial input, and more. So I can come in here and say, you know, Roku Test Unit 1 or Roku Test Unit 2 or whatever I want to name this. Up to 15 characters long. Um, so I mean, if you have, if you're living with roommates and he's got an Xbox and you got an Xbox and you two um, don't want to share one, you can say, hey, Jim's Xbox, Luke's Xbox. You could really name it whatever you want, which is really cool. Of course, though, you can go in here and say, I don't want this anymore. You can right, go to the icon, hit the star key on it, and then you can come down here to remove input. Anytime you can click that, bam, my antenna is gone off the, the home screen. So I can clear this all out if I don't use them at all. Uh, I can also, if for some reason, you wanna add an input without anything connected to it, let's say you know you're constantly disconnecting a particular device from your TV, like a camcorder or whatever, um, you can go into settings, scroll down right below TV picture settings as TV inputs, and click on that. And there you can go in and select an unused one, like HDMI 2. I click that, it says set up input. Let's go back to the home screen. Right here, HDMI 2. I have nothing plugged into HDMI 2, but it now shows up on the home screen of the Roku. So there you go. A few quick tips. Uh, one again, uh, let's go. I selected it, hit the star, remove input, and it's gone. So it's that simple to manage your inputs on your Roku. Well, there you go. Quick demo uh, and a demo of how we're going to run this new show here of tips, tricks, and how-to guides. But I would really like to hear from you. What cord cutting service? It could be say, hey, I got a question about how Netflix does something. Or hey, Sling TV, Direct TV Now, etc. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you see here. I'd love to beta test this and show you how this service works. And hopefully we can help more people become cord cutters and more people um, 
get more other core cutting experience. So if you like this video, hit us a thumbs up. It really helps us a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Join us every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern for our weekly core cutting Q&A. Join us every Friday for our weekly recap show and other videos throughout the week. You can also find us over at corecarsnews.com where we post every single day news, tips, tricks, reviews, and all kinds of other information about core cutting. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.